Hello YouTuber Roopers. So I have a couple of shop lights that I got from Home Depot for $12 today. Um, you know what a shop light looks like. You take it apart and uh, you're going to remove the ballast. If you're converting over to LED lights, uh, you're going to remove your ballast from it and you're going to have these on both ends. You're going to have two of them. Well, depending if it's a one lamp or a two lamp or a four lamp, you're going to have one, two, three, or four. Now the one furthest from your power cord, what you're going to do is just cut them off or cut the wires and then tape the wires back because these are basically, they call them the tube stone. They, they just support the far end of, this, of the LED light. And uh, the ones closest to the power cord, what you're going to essentially do is you, there are two types of of these um, of these holders. One is called shunted, and the other one is called non-shunted. Now, the, the the shunted ones have a short between the two connectors, so that when you check with your meter. Put the tone on. That's a uh, you got a short. So when you uh, you check these, you're gonna check across your connectors, and if there's no short, that means you can use these as a LED connector. And then what you're gonna do is one side is gonna be your power and your other side is going to be a neutral. And uh, if you have two lamps in your in your thing, you're going to hook, you know, the left one. Well, you're going to be consistent to be either the left one or the right one. It's, it's helps troubleshooting things a whole lot better. So, you know, each one, each left one to you in the, in the, in the array is going to be power and then the other side is going to be neutral. Now sometimes when you order your uh, your lamps off of Amazon they'll send you new ones of these and you don't have to edit it. It's a no-brainer. You just replace what you have. But um, it's, I have uh, already used the ones that there is at and other fixtures. Uh, I kind of lucked out. I just checked these last night and these were non-shunted so I'm going to be able to use these into the into the assembly and you if you're doing this you certainly know what a, inside of a, a shop light looks like um, I could probably show you it So, here's the shop light inside. Here's the ballast that I'm going to take out. And this cable here draping over my shoulder are the ones <laughs> that go up here. And uh, what you're just going to do is cut the wire and you can either leave the wire inside the panel or cut it out and use it for something else. Uh, and you can use the ballast for something else if you didn't cut it off as close as I did. Um, and essentially what you're taking is you're going to leave your ground attached to the metal. You always want to do that. The white wire is going to go to your neutral side of your of your holder and the black wire is going to go to your um, hot seat depending on the number of bulbs you're going to either have one wire connected, two wires connected, or four wires connected. And it's simple as that. Um, when you remove the ballast it's going to no longer run fluorescent lamps but that's a good thing. And it'll also be a lot lighter too. So that's it.
That is all I got for you today. Yes, sir, Rebob. And if I get my finger on that switch.